Hi, I'm Nathan Garcia, and in this video, I will share with you the three keys to success online. If you have tried digital marketing before, you know how overwhelming the technology can be when you are trying to get your message out there, attract new fans, and even convert them into customers. So in this video, I'm gonna lay out how you can have a better foundation for your marketing efforts and ultimately see better results. So the first thing that you need to do to be successful is to have clarity of your message. You wanna know exactly who you are talking to, who your customers are, the pain that they feel, their ambitions, what they're trying to accomplish as it relates to your problem or in life in general. And you wanna know how you can align with their goals and their ambitions in a way that will allow you to help them with their goals but also grow your business. So the first thing that you wanna do is have clarity in your messaging. And the best way to do this is to define who your target market is. So oftentimes what we'll do is we'll come up with your best client. Your best client is who you enjoy servicing and who you get the best results for. Once you have clarity of who this individual is or who these individuals are, then it's a lot easier to talk to them because now you know what's going on in their world and as a result of that, you're going to sound more natural and you'll be able to help them out in a quicker fashion. So the first thing that you wanna do for online success is have clarity in your messaging. The next thing that you need to do is to have consistency in how often you are speaking with your prospects. What you wanna do is to chunk your, um, your, your solution into smaller portions. People are just busy. Just because they began interacting with your company doesn't mean they're ready to take action today. So if you can break down the big solution into smaller steps, it's going to allow them to um, fully understand exactly what you're offering. So when you break down your big solution into smaller steps, it gives people the ability to take in that message and interpret it on their terms they can make less of a commitment of time and thereby they have more opportunity to actually listen to what you have to say and hear how it'll help them. So if you can break that down into smaller steps, now you have something that you can broadcast on a regular basis. So what you can do is build multiple campaigns out over a period of time. So maybe it takes three months for you to lead somebody down the path and educate them about one of your solutions. Well, that may be three months worth of email messages, uh, social media posts, videos, uh, blogs, whatever the content may be, now you have consistency in that messaging. The other aspect that I just brought up with the different channels is that you wanna have consistency in what you're saying in each of these channels. So you don't wanna broadcast one message on social media and have a different message resonated on your blog. Often what I'll do is I'll use my blog as a basis to um, uh, build assets on social media or on videos. So for instance, with this video, I'll have a blog, I'll also have different posts about it, and then I'll also have smaller snippets um, or slides that I can use for, for different uh, channels. So this is really helpful for you. Uh, the final thing on the consistency in messaging is that you want to think of it over time. What message does your brand want to become synonymous with? So when people think about different companies like Xerox, they think of copying. Um, when you think of ketchup, you probably think of Heinz. Um, there are different companies that are just synonymous with different messages or with different products. And so you want to have that same theme in your messaging. And so if you are a realtor, you want to think of, uh, you know, maybe you want to align yourself with the idea of best price or um, with speed or something along those terms. But you need to have the consistency in what you're telling people so that when they think about you, they think of one message. When they think about you to, to mention them to to mention you to a, a client or to a referral to a friend, they can just break down that message very quickly. Yeah, you want to go to these guys because they do X, Y, and Z, and here's the benefits that you get. So this is really, really key for you, and it'll help you over time because it makes your job easier. Now you just come back to these core messages that you have, and you can build all your other stuff off of it. Now the final key to success online is to have a path, a journey, where customers can ascend. So you want to start off with basics on your website by just having contact information, having the ability for somebody to give you their contact information for them to stay in contact with you. 
You see a lot of companies do this with newsletters, but they don't really publish newsletters that frequently or the newsletters are boring but you can do this with multiple things. So for instance, if you have a course, then you can say subscribe for my course or subscribe for my case study. Something like that is gonna help you out and get gen uh, generate interest and it gives you a reason to communicate with people. The other reason that you want to get their contact information is that you wanna present offers. Offers are going to allow you to extract money from somebody. So you want to start off just like you would if you met somebody in the marketplace, you know, you're at a flea market or something, you wouldn't just pull out um, your wallet and give them money. You'd want to take a look at what they have to offer, how it could benefit you, if the price is fair, all these different things. But once you have the ability to analyze that, then you can decide, is this a good opportunity for me? And so essentially what you have to do is take those same assets and move them online, take that same conversation and move it online. And by doing so, now you give the ability of people to talk to you and to transact with you. And that can be very helpful. Now, if you found these three things helpful, um, the, the, the clarity in your message, the consistency in your message, and the ability to ascend, then what I would suggest doing is to, to register for my free training where I'm going to share with you how you can improve your online presence. This involves using some different um, platforms like Facebook, Google Ads, and email marketing. But when you do this in a synchronized fashion where you're using all three of the platforms together, this can have tremendous results for you. And so what I'm going to do is share with you how this has helped my clients and how it's helping my business grow and how you may be able to utilize some of it. So if you're interested in that, Click the button and register below and I look forward to seeing you at that training.